So that brings us to the options bar. If I go to the wall command in the ribbon under the home tab, you'll notice that not only in the ribbon is there a custom area, which is colored green, there's also a bar right below the ribbon called the options bar. And this will have some key options that you need in order to do whatever it is you're doing. If you're drawing a wall, it will have certain options which we will discuss in depth later. If you choose to use the door command, it will have yet more options that you're able to pick from. So always keep an eye on this option bar, whether you're drawing something or you're clicking on something to edit it, you may still have options in the options bar available to you. The viewing and drawing area. The viewing and drawing area is this right here. So no matter what view that you're in, and we're leading up to the project browser as well, I'm gonna just double click in the project browser and go into different views. There's a south view, there's a north view. I'm zooming, we'll discuss all the zooming, panning functions as well later. But you can see that this is the viewing area. Now, an interesting thing about the viewing area is it's not necessarily just for the graphics of the building. It could also display a schedule, and it could display schedule information. If you look in my project browser right now, I'm going to click on section 1. You'll notice there's a rendering that's been saved, which was done in Revit. So the viewing area is simply your model on screen displayed to you. It's your working area. The viewing area has properties, and depending on what view you're in, it has certain properties. Take for instance this level one floor plan. If I go over to its properties, you can see that it has a scale and many other properties, which we will discuss. Each view also has properties available down at the bottom of the view, right here. This will adjust depending on what kind of view that you're in. Finally, we get to the project browser. We've talked about it a little bit up until now, but now let's explain this. The project browser is the entire organizational center for your project. So you can see in our completed drawing, we have everything that we need about this project. If you imagine in other programs, take for instance AutoCAD, a lot of what you see here would be individual drawings in a folder. But Revit keeps it all nicely organized in categories. I can minimize all those categories. And now you can get a little glimpse at all of them. So you have your views. So this would be things like floor plans, maybe 3D views, maybe renderings. You also have legends, schedules, sheets, as well as other things that help you to organize your project. Things like all of the families, or another name for blocks or content, are also synonyms. This also is an area where you can help organize your project. So I can see all of my wall types right here. All of my furniture that's been loaded in, all of my doors, all right here organized in the project browser. You also have groups and links. So anything that's been linked in is also visible in the project browser. Now, here's a key. What happens if this gets closed? You're kind of lost. You don't know how to navigate through your building. How do you do that? Well, go to the View tab under the ribbon. Go to the User Interface. Drop that down. And notice Project Browser. You can just click that right back up. And many other user interface components are able to be turned on or off using the user interface tool. The Properties Palette. The Properties Palette tells you all the properties about the things that you're clicking on in your project. If I click on a tree, if you look over here under Properties, you can see what kind of tree it is. You can also use the Type Selector, which is built right into the Properties Palette, to pick different types of trees. You have information about the object, what level it's on, and phasing information. Depending on what you've clicked on, there will be different properties shown. We will be using this extensively throughout this video series. If nothing is clicked on, then the Properties palette displays the properties of the view. Things like scale, orientation, 
phase, and other things. The Quick Access Toolbar. Sometimes this is shortened to QAT. Let's go over to that right now. Just as its name implies, you can see that there are tools that they're available elsewhere in the ribbon or in the application menu, but they're just quick, easily accessible. For instance, as I open Views in my project browser, it opens Windows. If I go to the Quick Access Toolbar, I can see these are all of the windows that have been opened, and I can go to any one of them. I can also shut them all down, so I just have the one that's in front of me open. Things like Save, Undo, and Redo are all valuable tools. Don't forget the little house. That's the access to your 3D view. Status bar. The status bar, as it indicates, gives you information about objects that you're either hovering over or picking. If I hover over an object, it will tell me what it is. Where is the status bar? It's right down here at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. So if I hover over something like this reference plane called back, you'll see it's the object reference plane and then its name is back. If I click on the wall tool, you'll notice that it also gives me some instruction. Click to enter wall start point is what it's saying. So that can be helpful at times.